So every CCIE presents its own unique challenges, characteristics, and of course, uh, hurdles and obstacles that each candidate will need to go through. That's no different for the CCI security that I think maybe within the last year underwent this minor upgrade from uh, 6.0 to 6.1. But really 98% of the uh, contents remain the same. Still, of course, uh, an eight hour exam with the three different sections. Uh, the percentage or the weighting may have changed, but this uh, firewall and really a lot of the VPNing and the uh, basic features and functions of the firewalls are still going to be tested uh, coming on down here. This uh, section here is worth one fifth as well. Secure connectivity and segmentation. But really what I've loved through and through about the security exam and blueprint is there's so many technologies and different skills, not just skill sets, but skills that a uh, engineer, architect, whatever you want to call yourself uh, from pursuing this study is going to amass uh, and really gain um, through going with this. So the underlying and fundamental technologies are, uh, like I said, just one that one cannot put into words. And of course, each of these blueprints, I think, um, are starting to add, um, if they haven't already, a lot of the uh, automation, uh, I won't say coding, but uh, API, Python type of uh, characteristics. And again, security is no different um, with these encoding of formats and standards that we see here. So what does this mean uh, in today's video for me? Well, long story short, the last four-ish months, I've been, I'll say, lazily studying for the CCIE DevNet and just keeping it a buck, keeping it real, um, I've just really gotten a bit tired um, and bored in my studies. And so really security, if we take a look and switch here, uh, this is something that I pursued. I didn't sit for the lab, but of course, uh, many years now, five years ago, <laughs> felt like two or three. But of course, those years uh, tend to pass as we get older. So this is one that I really started to study, got familiar with the topology, uh, the architecture, uh, Cisco ICE, um, WSA, ESA, FTD, FMC, the uh, ASAs, and just the various uh, other technologies that are used. So really just wanted to take a look and really see if we switch to security. Uh, what's this looking like here stateside? We know that Richardson, Texas, other than the mobile labs, it's going to be the only uh, place that uh, candidates here stateside can take it. So everything beyond July is booked out. Not sure if they're taking seats that far. So it looks like July would be a target date. So and another thing or tidbit is that I don't know the official numbers or stance, but in each of these locations, at least historically, if we go back here, uh, we know uh, for those that have listened to me for a while that I had two failed attempts um, on my uh, EI and, and finally passed it on the third attempt. But in each of those attempts, like half the room or more than half were routing and switching our EI candidates. It always seemed to be just one or two collaboration or voice uh, and video candidates, maybe one or two data center but I, I think there's a percentage or at least a max um, of these seats that can uh, take this exam and so what we mean if we go right back here should have stayed there but if we go back to richardson and we stay on enterprise infrastructure we'll see that in july uh, there's probably going to be more dates so the fourth of july has three seats it, it's just way more wide open for whatever reason for routing switching candidates and again, don't know that exact number, but we're going to really hunker down and commit and focus to this. And um, really, we have to study for uh, one of these uh, what used to be called the written exams to uh, be able to schedule our lab. So we'll focus on that the next two to three months. And then over the course of the next nine months, we'll use these resources that we see here currently uh, in Koar Butts, um, his uh, live classes that are every Saturday. Uh, I think this is now that we've sprung forward. It's 11 a.m. Um, our time here on the East Coast. And these are just previous historical 
cohorts or different classes. Um, so it changes some things up, but for the most part, you can see here, this is about 18 to 20 weeks of studies. This I think I'll use for 40 to 50% to get a more grasp, mentally get back into what we were. Most of these concepts, if not all, uh, look familiar again with us studying before, um, but looking to gain and reacquaint with that. IE again has been around for so long. This is where I think I cut my teeth back in 2014 ish uh, while overseas and have had an account really ever since then. We see the 6.1. These are broken out into videos. This learning path, 287 hours. So um, we'll probably supplement this, use this for maybe 20 ish percent. Um, of course, love Brian McGann. I've always supported him. Even the old content, a lot of these technologies, protocols, and again, the fun the underlying fundamentals, they remain the same. Again, even in the routing world, uh, BGP, like there's not too many different variants or enhancements um, that are made to supersede something that was old. I'm not saying that they don't come out. Um, so you could study these videos from version 5.0 and still, to be quite honest, 70% of the, you, you'd be good if you really, really knew that stuff. And then here, uh, probably another 15 to 20%. There's just a lot of content here. Again, different trainers um, is something that I've seen. INE has different trainers as well, but for a discipline or a vertical uh, type of uh, echelon, you, you typically see the same uh, trainer um, doing things there. So, you know, but like I said, there's um, different courses here. Let me see. We'll go back again, not trying to advocate any of these. There are no sponsors for today's video, of course. And uh, yeah, if you hit low more, um, there's just tons and tons. Juniper blockchain. But again, not wanting to uh, digress. But I try to supplement um, different variants and styles and instructors. There's nothing wrong with locking into one and focusing there. But um, me personally, as I've gotten more experience, I tend to like to see uh, different things taught. And there might be one thing that catches my eye. Of course, many books over here to read. And of course, RFCs, as well as um, a lot of the uh, written uh, Cisco press and Cisco study uh, literature that will supplement the studies as well. And then we know that we're going to need to, uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, we're going to need to lock and load in and uh, lab it up. So we've got our CCIE, um, Eve NG. I think, I don't know if I've powered that up or down, but we, yeah, I think I powered it down. But we'll be in here as well and sharing some of this as we go through. We'll figure out how to... Um, really share this experience. Like I say, targeting nine months, so um, maybe September, but if for some reason uh, things expedite, because just like uh, routing and switching or EI, the early mornings, late nights, and knowing what comes with that, I'll probably try to not do the late nights, but have been waking up early anyway lately, so I'll probably um, do that and try to commit to um, at least 20 hours a week. Um, so like I said, over the course of 40 weeks, you know, 800 hours a minimum and really need to get some stick time um, back in there when we come to just a few topics. Like I said, I don't dibble and dabble with ice too much. So there's certain, certain um, topics within the blueprint that I'm really going to have to... Uh, spend more time with. So looking forward to that. And like I said, that's really just what I wanted to share with everybody. There's nothing wrong with starting out one path. It doesn't matter if it's related to college, um, a certain part of work career, religion. Well, I shouldn't. Let me keep that out of this. But just if you're afforded long enough to live, like to live a life that's just straight, and it's just my opinion. Like it, it just seems like it's it's not gonna uh, bring you the most um, like live and learn type lessons. Like sometimes going off the beaten path, taking a break here, 
pursuing this other avenue. Like, and it might bring, it's like a branch. It might bring you right back to that trunk um, or the root where you lie. But that's just that part of um, studying these topics for 15-ish plus years. Um, and especially with certifications now, uh, there'll be an upcoming video where we discuss, is it time to let a certain certification go or not? How do, how do you know? And again, it's just going to be my opinion. But again, as we get more... Um, age and more um, time in the game, these topics that uh, we don't even think about when we're early in our career, they, they come to surprise, they come to fruition and not just for one single individual, many of us in the field, I'll bring this up. So again, this is just trying to share the start of this journey. I'm truly looking forward to it. I um, enjoyed that initial class uh, last Saturday. Uh, today is Friday, so this video, like I said, I'm going to chop it up tonight, put it out. Um, but we'll have our second class uh, tomorrow. And just looking forward to really um, getting the theory and then, of course, um, applying this practically in the lab. Going to probably download CML, um, Cisco's uh, modeling lab, the free version, but we'll probably just purchase the license to be able to have more nodes and... Um, Probably lab with that as opposed to even G at this point um, might just be a little bit cleaner, but we'll see. And I'll share some of that, not a 30, 40 minute video on installation. There's uh, lots of those videos there. But after getting some time behind the stick, just giving my personal opinions, maybe saving a few topologies and sharing them with anyone out there that wants to know it. But like I said, starting to ramble now, but like I said, everyone that always hangs around with me this far in my video, I really, really, truly do appreciate it. And if you have any questions or comments, suggestions, or just a, hey, why this, why that, what's your thought here or there uh, with anything as it relates to my pursuit of uh, CCI security or anything on the channel, then definitely feel free to hit me in the comments. I definitely try to respond to each of those um, that same day. Um, sometimes if I'm making a video, I'll, I won't respond because once I reply and there's a second response, I'm not good at seeing that. I don't know how to easily see those. Um, so those are usually the ones that I'm a little bit later on, but like I said, uh, just wishing each and every one of you out there all the best in whatever you're pursuing, whether it's the beginning, the end, like I said, it's that journey that I always truly embrace. You'll hear a lot of us say that. Um, but it's that uh, being able to take a pause and reflect on truly how far you've come and uh, just to be proud of um, really the growth and maturity that you see within yourself, as well as being able to provide for your family and those around you that I think means a lot. So until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves. Peace. Peace.